Welcome back everybody, this is Glockman4519. I am back with another ROM overview. Uh, this one here is for the OnePlus One. Uh, this is a very different uh, ROM. Um, this one here is Color OS, and this is the latest version of it, uh, the latest release of it. And uh, this one here was the release that was done with uh, Multi-ROM, uh, where you could flash the kernel uh, that they recommended uh, and have multi-ROM support. Uh, there are a couple caveats with that, uh, meaning uh, that if you happen to uh, boot into your secondary uh, as opposed to your primary, because it still has to be flashed on your primary position, uh, that you can't boot back into your primary again until you flash the image, which is the image file, which is your kernel, uh, again, and then once you flash that kernel again, then you can boot back into your primary ROM again. <laughs> but it does work. Um, it, it's a little, it takes a little bit to get used to, but it does work. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get into this. Uh, we're going to go right down to, um, well, first I'm going to show you the more options all the way at the bottom. Uh, you have your factory data uh, reset, uh, switch partitions. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, I, I, I'm still doing some reading on it. If you guys have any idea, um, you know, you can save me the trouble of doing all the research. Put a quick description. Put a quick, uh, you know, a breakdown of what this is uh, in the descriptions. I'm sure people watching this, uh, you know, that are in the same situation that I am in that have no clue what this is would really like to know. Uh, again, I just haven't really had the time to research it yet, so I just don't mess with it. Uh, then you have your print options, uh, your accessibility. Uh, these are your accessibility settings. And you have your uh, timing power on and off. Um, and developer options are all the way at the bottom. And uh, I'll show you how to get these turned on. Um, they don't have an advanced reboot. Uh, um, and I'll even explain that further. You can't get it on here. I've tried. Uh, there's your USB debugging. Animations. So on, so on. And uh, there is no multi-window, uh, you know, like you have in your other uh, Lollipop uh, or Marshmallow builds. Um, this is Lollipop, as we'll see. Uh, and there is no uh, multi-window options in that. Right now we're going to go to About Phone. Uh, you're going to see this is Color OS. Um, it is for the uh, OnePlus One. Uh, this is version uh, 2.15i. Android, Android version 5.0.1 or 5.0. Uh, let's see here. Uh, there's the build number, and uh, again, to uh, get those developer options to come up, because they are not there uh, right, out, right after you flash it, you have to tap the build number several times, until where you see it says no need to proceed with this operation, you're already a developer. Um, that will actually come up for the first time saying developer options have been unlocked. <laughs> trying to think of the settings I really want to go into here because there are not a lot of custom settings in this. Uh, here's your notification center and I guess that's just setting up at an app like a per app basis for notifications. Safety and privacy. You have your screen lock settings, unknown sources, uh, device administrators, uh, and I kind of found that weird, too. Um, well, okay, yeah, okay, there it is. Uh, when I first went to set this phone up, Android Device Manager wasn't even in this. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate that. You don't have to, it's just something I do. And then you have your storage type, uh, trusted credentials, uh, so on. And so on. And 
in. That's it for the general settings. Now, if you swipe to the right, you're going to come with you're going to get your sound settings, uh, volume control, uh, ringtones, uh, your message tones or notifications, uh, all that. Uh, this is where you're going to go to set those up. Uh, your vibrations. Uh, they do have max audio for this. Uh, this is where you're going to go to set max audio up, and it is working. Uh, I did try it out. Uh, it's working actually very well. Uh, and I, like a dumbass, I deleted the um, uh, the one screen on my home page that has a shortcut to this. And I can't figure out how to get back. So, <laughs> that's how uh, a dumbass I am on that one. Uh, you have your dial tone, uh, touch sounds. This is going to be where you basically set up uh, whether you want to hear your touch sounds, vibrations, anything like that. This is where you're going to set that up at. Uh, swipe to the right again. You're going to get to your, come to your display settings, uh, your brightness, uh, wallpaper. Um, you know, uh, screen activity turns off. You know how when do you want to turn off? Thirty seconds, two minutes. You know, five, ten minutes. Then we're going to have the uh, auto screen rotate uh, battery percentage uh, to be shown. Um, eye protection display. Oh, that kind of dims the, the uh, screen for you, gives it that orange tint at night. And of course you can display your network speed if you want, just kind of click that on there, it shows it in the status bar. Uh, I am going to choose not to do that. Uh, easy light. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, then, of course, you have key lights, hard key lights, whether you want them on, off, you know, uh, how many seconds you want them on. I usually have mine turned off. Uh, then daydream, and, of course, you can change the font if you want. I'm just going to leave mine right where it's at. And that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, I don't think I'm skipping over anything. Uh, here are your uh, quiet time settings. Oh, gest gestures and motions. Um, you, you do have screen gesture setups where you can actually set them up uh, how you want. You can add screen gestures if you want. You just click the add button, uh, pick the gesture that they have predetermined on the side, pick it, and then pick what you want it to do. Uh, they are functioning. Um, yeah, I can't really show you with the screen off, but it they do function. Uh, you have screen on gestures. Uh, and those would be like using multi fingers in a swipe up, down, left, right, uh, stuff like that. Uh, and all of these do work. I did try those as well. Uh, air gestures. Yes, they work. Um, I don't know if I can, but I'll, I'll show you. I'm not going to touch the screen, and I will show you what it does. Uh, let's go home. Uh, right now, I'm on the, uh, now, I'm not touching the screen. I'm just passing my hand in front of the sensor. And it will work this way, too, uh, in, your, um, in your gallery, going through all your pictures. But that's pretty cool. Uh, again, I was not touching the screen for that. And it's pretty cool. Now, again, see how I'm trying to get all the way over. There was another window with the uh, music. Uh, so if I tap and hold and go to widgets. Uh, let me see if you get that music back up there so you guys can see that. Quickly, if I can find it. And, you know, I can't even find a music widget. It's going to make me mad if I can't find it. And, see, I can't even find it. So, I guess that was pretty stupid of me to do. 
Uh, but anyways, um, that was pretty much it for settings. Uh, your pull down is right here. Uh, so your pull down. Uh, there is no app drawer. Uh, so just so you guys are aware of that, this is uh, like MIUI, um, you know, uh, Android, iOS, or uh, Android. <laughs> Listen to me. Um, uh, Apple, iOS. Uh, there's no, everything you download is going to be on your screen. Uh, you're going to have several screens. Um, you're going to want to make a lot of folders, you know, or, you know, it's just, and I hate this. This is one of the, this, this is one of the only things I really hate about this ROM is this. Um, I don't even know. I, I probably could try to throw Nova Launcher on here. Uh, but if you go throwing Nova Launcher on, you're kind of defeating running this ROM, I think. Uh, just my opinion. Um, another thing that I really liked it to work would be the theme store. Um, I did manage the theme to load for me. Uh, and then I went back to the stock theme because I just didn't like the one that I picked. And I'm just having all kinds of issues getting, uh, getting them to load. Uh, when I first tried it, it downloaded instantly. And now, and I'll, I will show you, um, this is the one I really want to try to get to load. You notice it's at 0%. It just won't download. Uh, click on it. I hit re-download. You notice it starts to download. And then I'll get a thing that says X on it. Nope. Didn't work. That's that's all I get. So I'm going to delete. Uh, we'll go back. Oops. You're going to go back. Uh, let me find that again. If I can find it here real quick. And I'll show you, because I don't want to accidentally download another one that just sucks. But if they had these, if they had the theme store working, you know, a little better than what it is, I think I could probably get used to using it. Uh, I have an Apple uh, iPhone 6s for work. Uh, I use it every single day. I hate the phone, but I'm used to using it. Uh, it is what it is. Um, it, it has an outstanding camera, uh, you know, it, it seems to manage its little bit of RAM very well, uh, so I can't diss the phone, it's a nice phone, I just don't like Apple phones, I don't like iOS, um, and now, see, I can't even find that theme anymore now, uh, let me go here, maybe it's here, all right, you know what? I'm just going to pick on any old theme here. Uh, let me go back. And I just want to show you guys what I'm talking about. Let's try that one. Click to download. Oh, I'm not going to log in. That's another thing that keeps coming up, asking you to log in, even if you're already logged in. So, All right, guys. Uh, I, I really wanted to bring this to you. This is Color OS. It is working. Uh, I've had no uh, reboots on this, uh, no shutdowns, no uh, app closings on me. Um, it's been running very, very smoothly. Uh, I'm going to tell you one thing about this ROM. Battery usage is phenomenal. Um, uh, I did notice that right out of the gate with this. Um, I did not have to have this thing, this phone plugged in. Uh, as much as I normally would have running uh, some other type of ROM. Um, I don't know what it is about, you know, this ROM that, that does that, whether it's the kernel, what it is, uh, but it is definitely a good battery-consuming ROM. We're talking probably, uh, I don't know, I don't do SOTs, uh, but from what I have found with the uh, battery uh, drainage, you know, my usage as, as I'm using the phone throughout the course of the day, I'm guessing SOT on this is going to be right up there, you know, six hours plus. Um, so, you know, don't don't take my word on it uh, for the SOT. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to tell you guys that the, uh, the battery usage on this phone is, again, uh, and all I can say is phenomenal. Um, again, I will have all the links in, this, in the uh, description. Uh, that way you guys can try this ROM out. Uh, it is multi-ROM uh, supported. Uh, just remember, you can only flash this into your primary. Uh, and remember those caveats I spoke about. Uh, that's all uh, talked about on the uh, thread. Uh, explained. Um, so make sure you guys read the OP. Read the first couple pages of the thread. Read at least the last couple pages of the thread. Um, 
I want to thank all of my subscribers. Uh, if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and I will, whoops, and I will see you guys on the next one.